Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about blood groups in man. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So Carl Landsteiner discovered ABO blood group system. The basis of ABO grouping is of two antigens, antigen A and antigen B. The ABO blood grouping system is classified into four types based on the presence or absence of antigens on red blood cell surface and plasma antibodies. So group A people contain antigen A in their red blood cell and antibody B in their blood plasma. Group B people contain antigen B in their RBC and antibody A in their blood plasma. Group AB people contain both A and B antigen in RBC and no antibodies in blood plasma. Group O people contain neither A nor B antigen on RBC and both antibodies A and B in their blood plasma. So during blood transfusion, any blood cannot be used. Why? Actually, anti-A antibody binds to antigen A and destroys the antigen A containing RBC. Similarly, anti-B antibody binds to antigen B and destroys the antigen B containing RBC. The blood of a donor has to be carefully matched with the blood of a recipient before any blood transfusion to avoid severe problems of clumping or destruction of RBC. So we will see this chart. Here blood group A contains A antigens and anti-B antibodies. The donors must have A blood group or O blood group. Here you may have a question. O group people have both anti-A as well as anti-B antibody in their blood plasma, right? Right? Then how is it safe? Anti-A antibody will not bind to A antigen? So the answer is no. When we take blood from a donor, its amount is very small. That much of blood plasma as well as antibody get diluted in our 5 liter of blood. Hence, the amount of anti-A antibody is ignorable here and it doesn't cause any harm. Just like that, we can understand these three. So blood group B contains B antigens on their RBC and they have anti-A antibodies in their blood plasma and the donors must have B or O blood group. The person with AB blood group has A and B antigens on their RBC and no antibodies in the plasma. The donors could have A or B or AB or O blood group. The O blood group person doesn't have any antigens on their RBC and have both anti-A and anti-B antibodies in their blood plasma and the donors must have O blood group. So from this chart we can conclude that group O blood can be donated to persons with any other blood group. Hence O group individuals are called universal donors and persons with AB blood group can accept blood from persons with any other blood group. Hence, AB group individuals are called universal recipients. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.